Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Star of God episode number 10. Um, in the previous episode, like, um, Ho kind of committed suicide and the thing is here that I never expected him to do so. Like I saw him uh, like grasping the weapon, the knife. And I thought that probably like there are like three people over there. Uh, I, th I thought probably someone would stop him, but like no one stopped him. Like that was the most flabbergasted I've ever been in an anime. Like at a decision, like not a decision, like the, like the way that happened. Like I, that was completely unexpected. Like I never expected him to commit suicide in front of so many people just like that. And uh, like the examiner like the rancor was like just standing there like he was so strong he could have i think he could have easily stopped him i don't know i i don't know what happened there and like that was like the most surprised thing that i've ever seen in this show at least and i don't know like his death i don't know it feels like completely unnecessary and like not deserved at all like he did something wrong and like he sh he definitely needed punishment for that like he needed to uh, like do something for like the things he had done like uh, he kind of like tried to kidnap Rahil and all and like uh, blackmail the others that definitely required punishment but not death and like I, I was so like confused like I, I don't know like uh, what can I say like that was completely unexpected in a weird way and like the previous episode was also like a weird type of episode I don't know why but anyways like uh, he's dead now and I don't know like, like like I wouldn't have been so like confused if not for that scene like they were just like standing and he just put the knife in his throat just like that like 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 he could have been easily stopped and like it f his death feels completely unnecessary i don't know why but anyways guys uh, that is this uh, like uh, that is what i felt in the previous episode so let's get started with this episode let's see what this episode brings and so yeah let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference let's get started okay i'm starting the countdown three two one Go. I'm planning on kind of not not a review but doing like giving a short kind of like my take on the different animals that I've watched like uh, after this like I finished this anime like in the last episode I'll be talking about like how I liked it and what rating would I give and uh, I previously did a rating video but uh, like at that time I have not like I've watched only four episodes of Tower of God so like like I was completely clueless and I kind of gave it a high rating but I don't know I'll see I'll I'll see at the like completely to the end and then I'll judge like what this uh, anime like at that time I was really enjoying it but I'm still enjoying it but I don't know I, I think they could have like done it a lot better I don't know why but I'll talk about that later on oh yeah that guy <laughs> oh my rock is sad most probably like because he was his rival okay <laughs> oh yeah she blatantly told that rahel yeah
I won't advance. Oh. Oh, so she was not behind that. Okay. I thought she was behind Ho's death. Not death, but that uh, blackmail. Oh, alright, alright. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, so Kun did it. Oh. Oh. Okay, so Kun kind of like made a plan, but it kind of like messed up. We rarely see Lily, like uh, sorry Yuri. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wait, what? What the hell? What is that? <laughs> what the hell? What happened to him? Oh my god. Now <laughs> he's a small one. Okay, wow, that's that's a cool cool power. <laughs> oh my god, he looks kind of cute. <laughs> oh god, oh my god, and he's damn Rak is like the best character. <laughs> Oh yeah, he found Rahel, okay. Well yeah, kind of like giving up. But no, uh, his main thing was to find Rahel and he did that. Like he never wanted to climb, climb the tower, so... No. Oh. <laughs> Can't walk. What? What? Yeah, in instead of Rahel. Oh, he'll take her. Okay. Yeah, like... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, Rock is like now being... What can I say? Like slapped around. <laughs> he was so big and now he's just like tiny little. <laughs> now he is noticing. Damn. <laughs> mm, okay, let's hear it. Oh yeah, so he is dead. Okay, everyone's here. Hmm.
okay wow like this is like some kind of like a photochromatic um glass so, like stuff like that Oh, because of that, all right. But Rahel was the one who like found him, so. Well, that is the human heart, like. I'm going to talk about this later on, like at the after credits uh, post discussion. Like now she can't walk and. Okay, like so everything's kind of okay now. <laughs> what is he doing? Damn, he's drunk. <laughs> well, everyone's drunk except her. Wait, she's leaving? So she is really leaving, like, damn. Like she was one of the teammates, like that, Kuhn. wasn't she? Yeah. Who the hell is this? What the hell is this? Some kind of sheep? Yuga. Lopo BRN. Royal reinforcement. Damn, that's some. What the hell is that? Like. Um, that's your eyes. Oh, like that face kind of thing. That was his eyes. Okay, he's like summoning some kind of snake. Wait, what? I'll have to check that out later on. He said something. Okay, well, that was quite easy. 
Uh, what the hell? So that's a costume. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Fiendish deep sea. So that fish was here. Okay. Uh, Hmm. Like this guy has like is planning something. Oh, okay, so it was not him. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Damn, calm down, dude. Okay, there's a few things that I have to think about. Hmm, okay. Who the hell is that? Wait, what? Yeah, I was thinking like You can't do anything like what are what will you be able to do? Yeah, go back. Yeah, fight me fight me and let's see Yes Endured this for one minute. Oh, 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 okay. Um, damn, okay, 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 okay. Well, Well, the only friend. Well, okay. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Damn, this this guy coon like. Okay, let's see what he has like now. Okay. Yeah, like he, she, like she passed it, didn't she? But after that, Let me take what? Oh.
We run the tests. Oh, okay. So I'll turn the full alert. Like, can we go like in a team or like? Okay, so it is like a team thing or what? Other condition. Oh. Okay, so like Yoru. That means Yoru can take the test. All right, so like yeah. Well, you have a surprise coming <laughs> towards you. Yes. And here we go. Well, he is an irregular, so. Yes. And here we go. Everyone's surprised. and okay mm, no it doesn't is Oh. Shut the hell up. Okay, so like, yeah. Yeah. Shut the hell up, please. Yeah. Oh, I did not expect that. Or is this like some kind of his plan? I think this is some kind of his plan. Like, I doubt he's like going to. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, so yeah, as I was saying, like... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay, that's like I was saying. <laughs> that was also planned. Okay. Then the green goblin is like... What the hell is happening? <laughs> Yeah, definitely. Uh. <laughs> okay, let's go then. Oh my god, okay, so... Oh, it's going to end like that. Okay. <laughs> well, well, that was kind of like a cliffhanger. Okay, we got a few questions answered and like I was a bit confused at few portions, but ultimately like it cleared it like the show itself, uh, episode itself cleared it up. And like I'm going to talk about those things uh, after like the ending credits end.
Ah. Okay, so. So, like, um. Rahel cannot climb now. Like, I don't get one thing. Like, she was stabbed in her back, I forgot. Or, like, stomach. Where was she stabbed? Probably his, her back. Anyways, so, like, why is she not able to walk now? Like, like I know, like, there is, like, pretty, some kind of critical stuff, like, nerves and all. Different type of nerves are, like, but I've never heard of people, like, being stabbed at the back, being unable to walk, like, I don't know. That was really, like really kind of odd, but like she could have get gotten like any other kind of problems, like like any other problems. But being unable to walk because she was stabbed, like in her upper body portion, like I don't know. Anyways, but, uh, we'll talk about that later on. So first, let's talk, let's talk about this episode. Um. Okay, so. Number one mystery here is that um, that guy who was with Endorsi and Rahel, he disappeared, and I like I can't really guess why he disappeared. Like I've thought of a lot of theories, but like n nothing kind of like is appropriate for whatever that is happening. So I doubt anything like any of those are like real like any of my theories so i'm not going to talk about them but I, i'm really confused as to why he disappeared like it feels as if like he was something connected to rahel after rahel got stabbed he suddenly stood up and disappeared and like there must be some kind of connection between them and obviously like endosi was also saying that uh, rahel came along with him like as a set so yeah that was one mystery and excuse me and here is the thing um here we can see that uh, kun was like planning he was saying that only two wave controllers could advance um so and he's also said that laura is guaranteed to pass by narrow majority of the remaining candidates yoru gray and yarun have the edge you and the girl must be some like one of the I forgot her name. I think her name was Gray, wasn't it? Anyways, um, she says that she won't advance, and she also gives a um, warning about hope. Okay, his jealousy will drive him mad sooner or later. Okay, so in the previous episode, we kind of got her glimpse when Ho was uh, like being blackmailed. And I thought that probably she was the person who like instigated that blackmail but no apparently not she like she was just suspicious of him and that's why she kept an eye on him okay and uh, so I removed Ho from the list so from the uh, friends list he removed Ho like Kun removed Ho and thought that yeah if she fails if he fails that's none of my problem i'll only like think about yoru and all of the others who are in my friends list okay so yeah i understand that portion then what is he doing like he's taking some kind of note out of a book keeping it in his, in his bag and like replacing it with something like i i don't know like i probably forgot this like what was that And then he like also like uh, goes to um, I think his name is Lord wasn't it that guy who sleeps and says that uh, so that you won't make any mistakes I'll guide you and because he made a mistake previously Laure he was like easily convinced so and then like I can understand the way Kun is Kun planned and Kun uh, goes to um, the ranker and says that uh, don't take your eyes off hope. Okay, so like he was planning to like, um, like he removed Ho from the team list, and Gray, the girl called Gray, already was like went away, um, like tell like uh, in her own choice because of her own choice, 
and like his like i can understand kun's plan kun's plan was like for yoru like his first priority was for yoru to pass and for that he had to like uh like not betray but uh like cast off ho from the friends list and that was his strategy but like that kind of backfired and made the path for him to be manipulated more like ho to be manipulated by someone else like yeah that was kind of like a mistake in his planning not a mistake but some uh, unfavorable some not uh, unfavorable some circumstances and some kind of like abnormality came into the plan and that kind of messed up his plan in a like in a bad way and ho died and uh, yeah that was one thing i was a bit like confused i saw that again and kind of understood it but i did not understand like i forgot i probably forgot that portion when where he like exchanged the uh, whatever that was in the uh, paper uh, inside a book i can't remember when he did that and why he did that i don't know uh, i hope i'll like remember it sooner or later and then we see like <laughs> rak has been like <laughs> rak has made was made small and he looks kind of <laughs> cute i don't know why <laughs> like he looks like some kind of like those plushy thingies <laughs> with a big head and a small body <laughs> okay and, and then we got to get to know that rahel won't be able to like walk and climb the tower and yoru uh, plans on like walk uh, like taking her and helping her instead and climb the tower instead of her and uh, then they had a kind of like a funeral for ho and then rahel here is the thing rahel says that like you were alone like to yoru like you were alone and did not know anything but like i abandoned you because i thought that you were what did what exact words is he she say just a sec it annoyed me uh, how persistently you followed me around regardless um I'm not the Rahel you loved anymore. Okay, you were clueless and weak, and you weren't in my way. Yeah, these things, like, like these are basic human emotions. I get it. Like, you like someone, you lo love someone, but still, sometimes you get annoyed at the things that they do, and uh, like, you after you cast them aside, you suddenly realize that no, the thing that I did was extremely selfish and wrong. Why did I do that? and like that is a very weird complex type of emotion a lot of people of us like have experienced that i myself have like experienced this type of emotion like i like something but then like kind of like what can i say like uh, misbehaved with that person or thing and i understood that he was not at fault or he the person was not at fault and then like after everything i've done i kind of realized that what the hell did i do and why did i do that like that makes me a really bad person like that's human emotion girl you can't do anything about it rahel and like you do like relied on her and that like reliance on everything like that kind of also annoyed her at the same time but she also loved him at the same time and all of this thing kind of like merged together and now she feels bad uh, after like the tables have turned like she is now at uh, like yoru's position and yoru is now helping her and she feels bad about that time now it's understandable like we all have these type of emotions that's nothing to be like that is something like bad and like that's the ugly portion of the human emotion and nothing you can do like being a human gives birth to these type of emotions but at the same time like rahel was also the person who found yoru so yeah like yoru has some deep gratitude for her and then uh, after that uh, scene uh, we see like uh, that girl i forgot her name <laughs> i always forgot all of these names i can't remember her name anyways the girl uh, like going away and she like don't like gives the weapon to <coughs> shibisu 
her weapon to Shibus and asks him not to die and all. And then we here see a like some like something unusual like a sheep kind of thing who is probably like they said that it's a ranker from Jahaz, uh, like like spying and like uh, giving some information to someone. And the like other guy who like the coffee guy <laughs> comes to kind of stop him but at the same time also said that no I'm going to join you to like uh, like mess everything up <laughs> uh, the sheep was weird like his face had like eyes and hands <laughs> uh, I think that is kind of like I, I think there is like a costume like uh, the person is inside the costume and uh, and here's one thing I have to see like uh, let's see like I've always wanted to fight Han Sung Yu, the deep sea fish of Evangel's floor. Okay, so sh like this coffee guy is like that sh ship, uh, uh, that fish kind of thing uh, in someone's floor. Like we already see one type of, like one big type of fish in the first episode. Like uh, uh, when like uh, Yoru came first time into the tower and he had to like fight the fish. Like, I don't know if that is like a fish or something else, but anyways, I think this guy is also like something like that. So, of Evangel's floor, some kind of like, I don't know, it's a higher up a floor, I think. So, yeah, then they kind of had a brief little fight and the guy kind of like joins <coughs> the sheep. And then we see Kuhn's another plan, like this guy making plans left and right. And like he anticipates everything when like they were like um, saying all of the names who have like, been qualified he knew that they were going to like uh, cast Rahel aside because she's injured now and just a sec just a sec uh, okay guys sorry about that I had to go for something okay so um, yeah as I was saying like uh, he understood like they are going to like cast us uh, aside Rahel now because like like they don't like what can I say like she passed the test but at the same time like she's injured now so like that like making that as an excuse and like uh, like casting her aside like this was like uh, a known thing like I like kind of uh, what can I say like saw that this come saw this coming everyone saw this coming and so Kuhn had made a plan here he says that I like want to take the administrator's test which was told to him by um, what was his name uh, the guy mm, uh, that guy uh, I'm, I always forget the names god damn it <laughs> just a sec uh, the other guy that was standing like who has like a black kind of spot in uh, like this portion like the yellow haired guy um, like he said this to him like about the administrator's test and using this information he kind of like strikes a deal but turns out he can't do that because he is not an irregular yoru is obviously an irregular and he stands up and he says that yeah i'm going to go and meet him so then comes like a question comes out like irregulars are people who have kind of broken the rules and they're like irregulars so what will the other people do well will they help him or not if they help him, they'll like be like the fastest people to like go up the tower. But uh, kind of like a uh, stamp would be put in, uh, put on them of being like helpers of the irregular. And I don't, I think like that is some kind of a bad thing. Like people like look down upon irregulars or I, I, I think probably. So like that will be in itself a bad kind of thing. But still like they were friends here. And like when we saw Kun say that. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> like, I, I don't give a damn about Yoru because, like, he's an irregular. I knew it. Like, he was making a plan. And, <laughs> like, I knew that he was making up something. Uh, so, like, uh, and he has some plan in his mind. And he was, like, acting. Just acting. Because uh, Kuhn's loyalty towards Yoru is one of the, like, like, what can I say? Consistent thing that I've ever, like, that I've seen. And uh, I doubt he will ever, like, ever betray Yoru. Uh, now or in the future so like and like also Ra kind of like says that yeah then I'll be like they're trying to in instigate the others and <laughs> like everyone like they have like 
knows everyone knows about their relationships so like they kind of caught uh, like caught whatever that was happening and said like yeah you don't have to act <laughs> we all know <laughs> and we're going to help so yeah that's a good thing and like so they are like now proper friends i, I can i i hope like i i'm sure of it because like what can i say like so many people are like standing up for you so yeah that is like a good thing and then at the like at the end um we see like you in front of like a big eye kind of thing and that must be the administrator so yeah and it ends over there so yeah this episode was like we got a few qu questions answered and few here and there and like one thing i'm i'm thinking is like the um coffee guy like i think he was the one who like um uh, was like kind of like um, uh, instigated uh the whole whole thing like like he kind of like riled him up with that note i think i, I like i am thinking like uh, all of his actions and all like he was also like smiling very faintly when uh like the thing with uh, like whole thing was being shown and uh, so i think like he was the one who did it i'm not sure but like the uh, the girl i whom i thought did it like he's off the hook now so this guy is the most probable one now like he's the only one who has a motive like he has a motive uh and uh, yeah we'll probably see like get to know that later on like what happened really so yeah guys that was episode number 10 of tower of god uh if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and uh, comment down below anything you want to comment subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and uh, be sure to comment uh, i'll be sure to check them out and uh, like uh, just say anything you want to share with me or like talk any about anything about this episode and uh, yes i'll be back with a new tower of god episode the next week uh next week it will be uh, episode number 11 we're almost at the end uh 11 12 and 13 like three more uh, weeks and tower of god uh, season 1 this is i don't know if they're going to make another season but season 1 would be the end after that so yeah guys uh thank you guys again for watching and i'll see you guys next time so until then goodbye and have a nice day